Hello everyone, Angela O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor, and of course I have Damien, Angela's sidekick. Hello everybody. And today we're over here at the point at Ascension by Pulte Homes. These are all single story homes in the Peaks Village. My client bought a home building from ground up and they bought the awesome King's Gate. So um, we did a frame walk through the other day, so we thought I would just kind of show you what it looks like with the bare bones of this house. Uh, right now they're going to get ready for putting the stucco up, and then once the stucco's up, they're going to do the drywall. I think it's always cool to see what these type homes look like from bare bones, right? Yes. So this King's Gate is around 3966 plus square feet with four bedrooms three and a half baths and three to four car garage. Now the base price is $1,824,990. By the time you watch this video, it may change because when my clients bought this house, they bought it at um, $1.7 and change and they've already gained 100000 in equity, which is friggin' phenomenal, right? It's not even finished. So by the time this home is completed, they may have already gained 200000 in equity. If you want to buy in this community, reach out to me. I sell a lot of Pulte homes, and they know me very well. So this is elevation, I think it's B, where it's more square. Now when you walk in, you have the office right here, and then they also got the large 48-inch. That's okay, babe pivot door that of course is not in yet and then this is the den they went with the french doors that have the clear glass on the side the nice beautiful i think they're 12 foot ceilings yeah 12 and 14 12 and 14 foot ceilings and then here is the dining room with the there's a little nook and he did spend extra money on the electrical package and got a lot of recessed lighting throughout pre-wire for ceiling fans throughout so as you can see when you do a frame walkthrough you're going to go and look at all aspects of the house where you put your electrical um there's no plumbing in this room but you get to see where all your plumbing is and it's always good to do a video or take photos so you know where all the studs are for future reference right um, it's kind of dark in here. You can't see, but these are 14 foot ceilings in here. And this is again, the King's gate. So let's just go in the kitchen first. Now, if you remember watching any of my model home videos, you have different options upgrades when it comes to the Island. They went with the extra Island here. So that way they're going to have seating around the Island. As you can see, that's where they they put this wood here so they can put the vent hood to have more stability. They're going to have a pot filler. And this is where the big giant signature double yeah, oven is going to go, right? Huge. The beast, right? Mm -hmm. So when you do it, you look at all the plumbing right here. You look at where the plumbing is located. You look at where your gas lines are located. And then also the island where the sink's going to be, right? So now this floor plan has an option of a flex space, which I think this is a very cool feature. Normally it would go probably to this wall and that's just this little nook area, right? So in this flex space, they expanded it and they have um, where they added a wet bar area back here as well as a full bathroom which is another neat feature is the door that leads out to the backyard. Mm -hmm. So this could be, if you get a pool, this would be a perfect pool bathroom, right? Yeah. The shower is going to go there, the toilet or the s toilet right there, and then the sink. So this is a nice feature to have. And this floor plan, the King's Gate, is the flex space. So they have the upgraded black slider, and then they went with the double slider here. And that's an upgraded feature. Another upgraded feature my client spent on was the humongous gas fireplace. And then there's nice two nooks on each side. Now in this floor plan also, you have an option of making this a wet bar area here. They decided not to do that since they have it in the flex space. 
So now this is considered the butler's pantry. Unfortunately, I can't walk through it, but you have, um, you're going to have like little countertops right here and then we'll walk around and I'll show you the pantry. So in the model home, this wall is not here. It's a wet bar. Yeah. Right. And then you have the wet bar area or the oh, butler's okay. pantry. Yep. And so these are the electrical outlets as well as the pantry. Now the green sprayed on the wood is for termite. It's a pretreatment for termites. Not that we have termites here in Vegas or very few. So this is what's called the game room in the King's Gate. Nothing's changed here. And we'll go this way. Now the nice thing about the King's Gate is all bedrooms have its own ensuite. So this bedroom back here will have its own ensuite. And they went with the upgraded option of doing the tub or just the shower instead of the tub. Not much to see. And then here's the other bedroom. Everything looks different in its bare bones, right? You can see behind the walls. Yeah. And then... Oh, actually, this is a Jack and Jill. Okay, I forgot about that. So here's this bedroom, decent-sized bedroom. And it has a nice size closet. All of them have walk-in closets, but this is a Jack and Jill with the other bedroom. So the nice feature about this Jack and Jill is that this person in this room has its own sink. There's going to be a door right here. They're going to have the shower and a, van or, um, a toilet right here. And then the other bedroom has a door right here with their own sink, nice. which yeah. is nice. Yeah. Separated. I think this is the best Jack and Jill type setup. And here's the fourth bedroom or third bedroom. And look how yeah nice the closet is. If you can visualize it, right? Sometimes people have a hard time visualizing what things look like um, with just the walls. Without the walls, sorry. It's a big house for a single story. Then you also have a half bath right here. With the sink and toilet. As well as this is into the garage entry. It could be like a drop zone. And then here's the two car garage good size and then the laundry room which is also a decent size laundry room they're gonna have the washer dryer as well as that's pre plumbed for a sink now here's the extra advantage this could be three or four car garage they got the fourth car garage option which is extremely long and extremely tall these ceilings are 14 feet, right? Um, you're gonna have your electrical panel from the outside here, as well as your main water line here. And then you're gonna have the tankless water heater here, as well as plum for a water softener. And then also I recommended my clients getting this door to the side uh, of the house because in that way if you want to go from the garage to the side you can now this floor plan also has an option for a casita uh -huh. which is super nice um, so that's why the Kingsgate has the largest lot size because it's the most widest the minimum square foot lot size for a Kingsgate is 13,000 and change yeah so you have to have um, a really big lot in order to put the King's Gate on. It's very wide. Yeah. So here is the primary bedroom, tall ceilings, love all the tall ceilings. There's also going to be like a little nook area right here. Now in the model, because the model did not have the four car garage, this is a patio in the model and this little suite is to the corner right they moved it to the right yes and then there's like a little um patio but because they had the extended four car garage the suite i don't know what they call this 
bonus room. I guess what I would call it. Yeah, is in the middle. And then they didn't have the doors to the backyard from here. But very tall ceilings. And then here is the primary bathroom where you're going to have a sink right there. It's going to be a long counter. Beautiful tub in front of the picture window. And then another sink right there. And then the large shower with two shower heads and a rain head. Now this is again configured differently than the model. The model has like a wall that's a little more private. This is gonna be a big glass area. The toilet, the throne room, the throne room and then of course the decent size primary closet and they added an extra outlet. So when you build from ground up, and I say this in all my videos, first you pick your lot, then you pick, well, first you pick your floor plan, then your lot, then your structural options, and then a month or so later, you go to the design studio and pick all of your fit and finishes, all your upgrades, your electrical package, um, et cetera. So, you know, there's a lot of things that clients like to add, especially recess lighting. They added the extra four recess lighting in this great big room. Um, and adding like a plug in all the closets is smart because people like to put their vacuums or whatever, you know. So things start costing. But, you know, when you're buying a home over $1.7 million, right? That's <laughs> <laughs> a few hundred thousand here. <laughs> yeah. So the nice thing is, let me put my glasses on. The lot size is friggin' huge you do have a smaller front lot but the back is huge and the nice thing is that next to them is like a ditch area so there's not technically someone really next to them but look at this lot size yeah it's definitely big enough for a fool um and then some <laughs> this could actually fit a casita if they went with that option mm -hmm. right so there's not much space in between the wall there, but at least look how much space they have between the neighbor. Yes. Which is nice. More banana peels. I guess they like bananas. <laughs> and then this is how far the lot's going to go. So their line, their lot line is right here where this wall is. So this side yard is actually huge yeah it's a good size yeah so and then the neighbors are going to start right there so this is like the one of the i think the best lots i mean it's a great lot over here in kingsgate i mean kingsgate in the ascension let me know in the comments what you think of this floor plan and any of the videos i've done of the point we love pulte helms it's our favorite one of our favorite yep. builders right yeah they treat us well and they treat their clients very well. If you were thinking about buying a home here in the Peaks Village Ascension, call me at... Call Angela at 702-370-5112. Most importantly, folks, make sure you like and subscribe. Show me some love. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the flip side.